Hi third graders. As we become better readers, we often find ourselves reading more chapter books and less picture books. But chapter books usually don't have as many pictures to help us visualize what is happening in the story. Oftentimes it's up to us to make mental pictures in our minds to help us understand. Authors also help us do this by being descriptive writers. Non-literal language is a type of descriptive writing that we're going to be learning about today. Non-literal language, or sometimes we call it figurative language, is a way of describing something without using a real or literal meaning. Typically, writers and speakers use non-literal language as a way to be creative or make it easier to visualize for the reader or listener. The standard that we are working with is RL 3.4, which states, determine the meaning of words and phrases as they are used in the text, and distinguish the literal from non-literal language. So let's just start there. First, we will talk about the differences between literal and non-literal language. Then, we'll take a look at some types of non-literal language that we've found so far in some of the stories that we've read in class. Let's talk about the differences between literal and non-literal language. As we said before, non-literal language is a way of describing what is happening in an interesting way that may not necessarily be what is really happening. Sometimes it's silly or unrealistic. Literal language is a plain way of describing what is happening with realistic describing words. This is more of a definition or real meaning. There are a few types of non-literal language that we're going to explore today. Some of them that we will talk about are simile, metaphor, and hyperbole. These types of non-literal language can be found in many stories that you're familiar with, including The Chocolate Touch by Patrick Skeen Catling and the classic myth A Golden Tragedy. We're going to use some examples from these texts in explaining the types of non-literal language today. A simile is a comparison that one can make by using the words like or as. We can find an example of this in A Golden Tragedy. When describing the birds in King Midas' kingdom, the author says, their clucks and quacks sounded like the sweetest music. This is considered a simile because it is comparing the bird's sounds to music by using the word like. This helps the reader to really imagine the sounds of the birds. A metaphor is a way to compare two things by saying that something is something else. It does not use the words like or as like a simile does. An example of this comes from The Chocolate Touch. When describing John Midas in the first chapter, the author says, he had one bad fault. He was a pig about candy. This is considered a metaphor because the author is comparing John to a pig by saying that he is a pig. He isn't saying that he is an actual pig, but he is trying to show that he eats a lot like a pig would, especially with candy. Hyperbole is a descriptive statement that is exaggerated or so outlandish that it couldn't possibly be true. One example of hyperbole is in A Golden Tragedy. King Midas begs for the wizard to give him the golden touch because if he had it, he could turn eggs into gold and that it would make his daughter the happiest girl in the kingdom. This is considered hyperbole because there would be no way of knowing if she would be the happiest girl in the whole kingdom. This is an exaggeration. There are a few other types of non-literal language. However, I hope that the few that we talked about today help you to understand a little bit better the differences between literal and non-literal language. I also hope that you are able to begin using these in your own writing and then finding them in your reading more often. Now it's your turn. Just for practice, I want you to open up your chocolate touch text and I want you to find a sentence in there that you can change into a form of non-literal language such as simile, metaphor, and hyperbole. 
go ahead and write that down and then share it with us. Thanks for watching.